What is going on YouTube? Michael Douglas with Douglas Lawn Care checking back in with you guys. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I know I am having a great day. It's almost lawn care season, guys. Next week I am going to... Holy crap, what was that? <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. I wanted to make a quick video for you guys of my 2021 lawn care setup, show you guys what I'm gonna be running, all the equipment that I have, um, and just how I have my enclosed trailer set up. I'm so glad you're with me today. If you get anything from this video, please smash that like button. And please guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please smash that subscribe button. Really, really would appreciate it. So as you guys can see, I'm running a Ram 1500, and to be 100% honest with you guys, I love this Ram 1500. Um, it does everything that I needed to do in the lawn care business. If I had to do it all over again, the only thing that I would do would upgrade to a Ram uh, 2500, uh, just to put that extra heavy duty plow on the front of this truck. On the top of my truck here, I got a light bar just for a safety bar. I will leave a link in the description below of this light bar. So I am running a 7x14 enclosed trailer. It is made by Interstate. If you are curious about the enclosed trailer, I do have a review video. I don't want to get too into depth on that just because I have a review video out there if you're interested in that. My money maker guys, my pride and joy, my Xmark Laser ZX. And this guys is a beast of a machine. I will tell you what, this is my money maker, my pride and joy. This is basically what is running my business. This is the flagship of my business guys. I do have the suspension seat platform. I do like that. However, if I had to do it all over again, I probably would steer away from the suspension seat platform seat and just go with a regular suspension seat. I bought this mower as a demo unit and it was used had about 200 hours on it and I saved about $2,000 doing it this way. That's why I ultimately went and bought this mower. This mower is this mower is a game changer, guys. I would highly recommend the Laser Z. So let's get into what I have inside my enclosed trailer. On the bottom rack here, I am running my FS94R. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind or not, but it is blowing crazy. So my FS94R, this is my go-to trimmer, guys. It is so lightweight, and for those weekly lawns, this is my go-to trimmer. Um, on the second line here, I do have an FS91R for my, um, I'm using that as my backup trimmer. I do have it right now, the blade attachment, I was using it outside in the back of my lawn. Um, so that is the reason that is not in my trailer right now. On the top right there, I do have an FS90. Um, that is an older model. So I am running that with an edger attachment on there. Um, just an older machine, still running great. That thing is about 10 years old, guys. And you know what? That's one of the main reasons I like steel and I have went the steel route. Um, that one trimmer, 10 years old, guys uh, would if your trimmers lasting 10 years um, stay with that brand I see a lot of guys on YouTube promoting uh, these heavy-duty trimmer racks uh, from green touch and uh, I can't remember the other one off the top of my head but there's two main ones out there I did not end up going that route and the main reason I didn't end up going that route is guys I'm a solo operator I'm going to be taking care of this equipment myself um, I have an enclosed trailer and I do not need this stuff really locked up because I'm gonna be with it um, at all times of the day Day, and when I get home then I'll just lock the trailer up so safety reasons I don't need this stuff locked up as you guys can see I just have some of these I don't know what you call them these climbing harness things so just a quick connect right there basically it's just holding it in place so just when I put the trimmer back I just snap that right in place I don't have to deal with a lock it's just really fast and really efficient. If you are interested in one of these racks, I will leave a link in the description below as well. Um, I just bought these from Amazon. I think I paid about 70 some dollars. Don't quote me back on that. It was about three years ago and I have not had any problems with these in three years. I did, obviously, as you can see, I had to custom make uh, this for my enclosed trailer because this was for an open trailer setup. Now, if you were running an open trailer, I would probably stay clear of this style and I probably would buy a Green Touch um, or the other brand uh, just for safety reasons, just because I don't want a trimmer falling out of my trailer, right? That'd be, I mean, worst case scenario, right? 
So I don't have everything set up the way that I would like it, um, but I do have some garden tools up here, a rake and uh, some shovels. I do have a shovel in my garage I need to put back up here and some other tools. I see on Facebook a lot, guys, everybody saying, what is the best gas can to get? What gas can should I get? Should I get this? Should I get this? You know what? My personal opinion is I'm going to buy one of the cheapest gas cans I can buy. I am carrying four gas cans, three right here and one in the back corner. I don't know if that's where I'm going to have it set up, uh, but right now that's where it's setting. The reason I say don't spend a whole lot of money on your gas cans is because it's so much faster to get a funnel, put it in your mower, unscrew the top and dump everything in that funnel compared to dumping it through the gas can nozzle. I'll tell you what, the government has made a mess of gas cans and it is ridiculous. But guys, just take that lid off, pour it down there. Man, that's so much faster than waiting to go through a tube or even if you get the sure cans out there. I know sure cans are great gas cans, but at the same time, um, this goes so much faster. So I don't know what measures you guys in your business have decided to take against COVID. Um, me personally, I've stayed away from most of my customers. When I go do an estimate, I'd like to um, just go do an estimate by myself, walk the property by myself, and then call the customer back with the estimate. Sometimes that's not always the case and can't always happen, um, but that's what I've been trying to do. Um, I've also, in my truck, I also keep hand sanitizer. And guys, last year I installed this little sink. To be honest, I wasn't sure if I would keep this in my enclosed trailer, but you know what? Once I installed this sink in my trailer, um, I use it almost every day, multiple times a day. As you guys can see on the bottom there, it just has a foot pump and it will pump the dirty water. I have it going into this gas can um, and it just pumps right out of there. And guys, you don't need one of these, but t let me tell you what, when you guys start eating your lunch or start eating snacks um, and your hands have gas on them um, and they're dirty and disgusting, guys, this thing is a game changer. And to be honest, the first two full-time years that I've um, had without this in there, I honestly look back at that and say, you know what, I really do wish I had one of these. So I would highly suggest if you don't, um, coming up with some sort of way to wash your guys' hands. So as you guys can see up front, I do have a push mower, and this is just a Toro 30-inch Time Master. I do understand that the Toro Time Master is a residential mower. Some of you guys out there are probably thinking, why does this guy have a Toro Time Master running a commercial business? This is not my go-to mower. I only mow two properties, one decent sized property because I can't get my mower through the back and one very, very small property. So I'm barely using this mower at all. Um, I'm not putting hardly any hours on this thing. Um, let me tell you what, I, I really don't wanna get too much into depth. I do have a full video out there. I have a couple videos out there on the Toro Time Master, my personal opinions on them. So go check those out if you're interested in that. Um, but. I, if I had to do it all over again, I probably would actually end up buying this Toro Time Master 30 inch um, all over again. So as you can see up by the door here, I have the Side Start BR800. I do love this machine. And some of you may be wondering why, Michael, do you have this BR800 sitting on the floor? Why don't you just get a rack and put it up on the wall right there? And to be honest, I totally could. If that's how you wanna set up your enclosed trailer, go for it, be my guest. But the way I work, um, after I get done mowing, I step off my mower, I go out my side door right here, and I don't even have to lift this backpack blower off of a rack. It's already down almost um, back level, and I just throw it on my back. Don't have to lift it up too high. Um, and you know what? When I'm done with it, I take it off and literally just set it right on the floor. It's not going anywhere. It's not in the way. Um, so you know what? I am not going to spend that extra money and mount it on my wall. I'm just going to save it. 200 or $300 for a blower rack, to be 100% honest with you. It's fine on the floor. Maybe if I had employees, maybe if I let somebody else use my enclosed trailer and I wasn't using this, yes, then I probably would go ahead and put it on the wall. I don't know if you guys can hear that wind or not. Uh, hopefully this audio turns out, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be <laughs> pretty upset. Um, but maybe if, guys, if you were, had employees, maybe put it on the wall. You can never have enough string. I have right here the Oregon Platinum Gator Line. Uh, I do have uh, the Echo Diamond, which I am very excited to try. 
Magnum Gator line, uh, the Super Twist by Oregon, and I have this square steel line as well. I actually just ran out at the end of the season to the line that's very comparable to the Echo um, Diamond line here. I don't know what it's really called, the Steel CFP, I don't remember. Uh, but all this stuff, guys, I will leave in the description below. I am very interested to test that Echo line compared to that steel line that I have. Out of these four lines right here, I would probably say the Echo is probably going to be the best. Then I would probably say this blue uh, Platinum Gator line by Oregon. And then I would probably third end up going with the Super Twist from Oregon. I really don't like that stuff to be 100% honest with you guys. And then lastly, I would probably go with the steel here. Up front here, I just have a toolbox and I have a whole bunch of tools in there. Um, and this guy right here, I have borrowed that. That's a bar that's going to help me put in a dock at the beginning and end of the season. I do put in one dock. Um, I don't really think I want to get into putting docks. I've had a couple customers say, hey, can you put in a dock? Can you take out a dock? I've only done it once and because it was very, very simple um, and very easy to do and I was shown how to do it. I don't really think I want to venture into that service or not. I know there is a market for that service, so maybe one time down the road I will. Um, in my area, there's a whole lot of lakes over here. So maybe I will end up venturing into the dock removal service. Um, I know there is a market right now also for pontoon boats and delivery of pontoon boats and taking them in and out of the water. Right now, I just do not have time for that, uh, but potentially in the future, that will be another service that I offer. We'll have to see about that. In future years as you guys can tell i do like my steel i have a bga 57 electric blower um, i love that for small sidewalks and just a real quick blown go i do also have a little tiny chainsaw the ms 170 and hopefully sometime soon i will get you guys a review video on that i have a review video on almost all my steel equipment except that one um, i also am running up here some hedge trimmers, uh, the HS45. I love those hedge trimmers, have not had a problem with it. And I do have a mini sprayer up here by Steel as well, um, the SG31. If you see anything in this trailer except that chainsaw, I have a review video on everything in this trailer. So go check it out if you're interested in anything in here. And if I do not have a review video on something, you say, Michael, you're a dummy. You don't have a review on this. Um, what's your thoughts about any of this stuff on here? Please let me know in the comments below and I will, I will get back to you with my thoughts on any of this stuff. So right behind here, I do have a whole bunch of fluids and all that stuff. My oil mixes, my gas mixes, WD-40, um, chainsaw bar oil. I just end up going to my local dealer and purchasing um, a whole bunch of fuel filters, air filters, and good stuff for all my trimmers and stuff. So in the near future, I will be making uh, some of those videos. Um, hopefully very soon, because I need to get those uh, good to go and ready, up and running before, um, in a couple weeks, actually. Well, on the side here, you can see I do have a Solo gas can. It is a non-spill gas can. I love this gas can, and I am running all my mixed gas out of that gas can. So in all my equipment, all my small engine equipment, my trimmers, uh, my blowers, my chainsaws, everything, I am running non-ethanol, gas which is rec gas so i would highly recommend if you're not running non-ethanol gas or rec gas in your um, trimmers guys you need to be running that to save your carburetor trust me look into it in this little bucket here you can see i have uh, chainsaw chaps and in the bottom of that bucket i also have some straps and guys if you are not carrying straps in the lawn care business that is a big mistake you need to be carrying straps because one day i promise you you are going to get stuck in somebody's lawn and you're going to need a way to get it out um the best way for me because i'm solo really the only way for me that i found man that's windy the best way for me uh, because I am solo, really the only way that I found to get unstuck because I'm solo is to unhook my truck, um, drive it up to the mower and get a long strap and pull that out. Um, the Ram 1500 is a great job doing that. That's one, that's one reason I have all-terrain tires on my truck just in case I ever come into a sticky situation trying to get my mower um, unstuck. All right, guys, if you stuck through this entire video, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so, so 
much. We are almost at 700 subscribers and that is ridiculous. It's taken a long time to get this far, uh, but it is a journey, right? It is a journey and you guys are on the journey with me and I am so glad that you guys are. I wanna know if you do have an enclosed trailer, what you guys are doing differently. Um, what works for you guys, what doesn't, did you see something in here that I probably could be more efficient about? Um, please leave that in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate it because guys, I'm here to learn just as well. That's what I use YouTube for. I watch tons of you. I watch a ton of YouTube videos just like you guys. So again, thank you so much. Michael Douglas, Douglas Lawn Care, signing off. God bless, be safe, and Guys, I cannot wait till mowing season starts. Did I say that? Did I say that already? Yeah, I think I said that. All right, guys. Bye.